All right, it says a loan of P dollars at interest rate I per period may be amortized in N equal periodic payments of R dollars made at the end of each period. Okay, this is amortization payments. Okay, so like if you get a loan for a house or something like that, what are your monthly payments going to be or quarterly payments or whatever it is. Usually it's monthly payments. All right, so the formula is R equals P times I over 1 minus 1 plus I to the negative N. All right, so P, that's the loan. That's the amount of the loan. Okay, notice this I here. I is equal to R over M. R is your interest rate. Okay, R is your interest rate. That's different. I is your interest rate per period. So, and R is just what's the interest rate on the loan. M is how many times it's compounded per year. So, if it's compounded annually, M would be 1. Semi-annually, M would be 2. Quarterly, M would be 4. Monthly, M would be 12. And daily, M would be 365. All right, and then N is equal to M times T. Okay, so we just went over what M is. It's the number of compounding periods in a year. Well, T is the number of years. Okay, for how, how many years is the loan? That's what T is. All right, so let's now come over here and do our example. All right, so let's... Let's write our formula down. So I've got R is equal to P times I over 1 minus 1 plus I to the negative N. All right. Now, let's get P, I, and N. So P, that's the amount of the loan, which is $225,000. Okay, so to get I and N, I need R, I need M, and I need T. Well, little R, that's 0 0.0325, 3.25%. We write it as a decimal. M is the number of compounding periods per year. Well, it's monthly, so that's 12. All right, so now that's going to give us I is equal to R over M, which is 0 0.0325 over 12. And let's see, I bet that's going to be a nasty number. Let's see, 0 0.0325 divided by 12. Yep, it's 0 0.00270833. Well, we don't want to write that down, so what we're going to do is we'll leave it as a fraction. Now, when you divide this, if you get if you get like three or four decimals, then you know go ahead and write that out. But if you get if your calculator is filled up with decimals, just leave it as the fraction here. All right, n is m times t, so m is twelve. Uh, t, the number of years, is thirty, so that's times thirty, so that would be three sixty. Okay, all right. So now we have everything. Um, all right. So now let's just plug everything in. So we get R is equal to P, which is 225,000 times I, which we're going to leave as 0 0.0325 over 12 divided by all right, so that's 1 minus 1 plus I, which is 0 0.0325 over 12, raised to the negative N. So raised to the negative 360. Okay, now the fun part, punching this into your calculator. <clears throat> okay, so there's, there's a couple of ways that you could do this. And, and I'll say this, if you know how to store numbers and recall the number on your calculator, I would recommend doing that, okay? 
but what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and just punch it in don't try to punch everything in at one time because probably what's going to happen you'll leave out a parenthesis or something like that okay it's easy to make a mistake so let's see so let's just go ahead and put the denominator in all right so just type it in like it looks type in one minus okay so I've typed in the one minus and then parenthesis and then 1 plus 0 0.0325 divided by 12 and well, let's see I typed something wrong 0 0.0325 divided by 12 okay so I've got all that type I did 1 minus parenthesis 1 plus 0 0.0325 divided by 12 and now close your parenthesis and then hit your exponent button raised and then to the negative 360 okay, and hit enter and for that you should get let me show you you should have point six two two three one zero two zero four in your calculator Okay, and that's down here on the in the uh, denominator. Okay, so what we can do is that's down here. Well, on your calculator, you have a button that looks like this. Okay, what that does is it is it takes this number and it takes the the reciprocal of it. Okay, it takes the reciprocal of it. Well, if you remember. If you remember this from algebra, if you have a over b, well, let me just use numbers. If you have one half divided by uh, four fifths, then that's the same thing as what one half times the reciprocal times five fourths. So if I have this divided by this, which is this number, so if I do this divided by this number that would be the same thing as this times the reciprocal of this number right just like dividing the fractions here so if I can get the reciprocal of this number okay so this number is still in my calculator okay so now with this this number still in your calculator hit this button here so you hit that button and it's going to show you this a n s negative one okay and hit enter and what that does is that gives you the reciprocal of the number I just erased and it makes it what one point six zero six nine one five six four okay and so now I'm going to take this number multiply it times this and then multiply it times this okay so I'm, I've got this number in my calculator, so times 0 0.0325 times 2250002500, and I'll hit enter, and that gives me 100, uh, what does that give me, uh, $11,750 and, and point five seven zero six two. okay? But then remember, now I've got to divide it by 12. So divided by 12, just hit divided by 12, hit enter, and that is going to give you 979.21. Round it to two decimal places. We're talking about money. All right, so I hope that wasn't confusing on the calculator. It's hard to explain it without being able to show you. But, you know, like I said, you know, if you can type all this in at once and get it right, then that's great. Do that. If not, try like I showed you or learn how to type this in, get a number, store it, and then type this in, get the number, store it, and then recall this number divided by recall this number. 
that that's a good way it's it's good to be able to store and recall the numbers on your calculator so uh, I'm getting kind of long with the video so we'll wrap it up but hopefully it helped uh, give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching